again. Thanks for believing me and taking me to the great sea. Sorry I was so hush-hush about what happened on that boat and about the item in that lockbox. I'll tell you everything. A while back, I was traveling aboard the Princess Peach with my buns, my bob bob and my friends. We had all pitched in to share the VIP stable. Sure, some of us had to sleep on the floor, but the open sea, the salty breeze, it was the best trip ever. But then, that monstrous blooper attacked the ship. We did our best to defend the peach, but it was too strong. That's when it happened. My fuse got knocked loose. It flew right off the boat. And so did I. Next thing I know, I'm in the great sea. Not sure what happened next, but I washed up at Toe Town. No fuse, no memories, no clue. So off I went, lost and alone, on a journey to try and remember, well, anything. That's where you and Olivia came in. And then, those fireworks that we saw together at Shogun Studios. They made me remember the fight with the blooper, my fuse, my buds. Boom. Everything came back to me. I'm so glad my memories are back. I remember everything now. Including the way to rescue Olivia. See, I had a lot of buds, but I lost my bestest best bud a long time ago. He got scrapped in an accident. His name was also Babam. <laughs> Olivia would have had such a hard time telling us apart. I always kept his fuse with me to remember him by until the amnesia hit. So it just sat where I left it, in that VIP stateroom on the ship. Big M, if I could save a friend like this, it means I finally become the sort of bob -omb I always wanted to be. This is what every bob -omb hopes for, a chance to change something for the better, to make an impact. Big M, I, I had so much fun traveling with Hugh and Olivia. It's been a blast. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of nervous. Thanks for the few best bud. And thank you, Mario, for everything. Save me, Mario. Thank you so much. Getting flattened hurt a lot, but now I'm back to my folded and fancy free self. Wow, the whole rocket's just gone. Blasted into confetti. How did that happen anyway? Did you get some kind of dynamite hammer or something? Just kapow. Or what? Wait, huh? Where's Bobby? Is he around? Don't tell me he missed all of this. Uh, Mario? Wait, 
Did he? There was a loud bang. And now the rock is gone. No. No. It can't be! Whoa, hey there. Us mimals don't get many guests down here in our little tunnel. How we could do a better job of advertising. Funny though, you're not the first today. A giant bee with tears running down its face just buzzed past. I crawled into that rock to take a nap. That was three years ago. Thanks for the wake up, pal. Here's a little something for the effort. There she is. himself for me now he's gone how how could he do that I I don't know how I can go on Jackpot, baby, some kind of huge rock exploded outside. He just gathered up all of the pieces to see if he could find something shiny for Bowser. I don't know what could blow up a rock that big, and I don't care. This could get us out of digging for weeks, if we play our cards right. Gotta waddle. Again. Listen, Olivia's having a hard time with this whole thing. If she doesn't pull through, it's like everything I did was in vain. But you're Big M. Big M. If anyone can cheer her up, it's you. Just think, what could you do to put a smile on her face? They say that laughter is the best medicine, right? So maybe you can make her laugh. I think we know what can make her laugh. Oh, that's not fair, Mario. Stop trying to force me to laugh with that. I mean, it is quite ridiculous. <laughs> oh, oh, I needed that. Thank you, Mario. 
I can't just sit around wallowing in misery. Probably wouldn't have wanted that. Let's, let's keep going. You have to stop my brother, no matter what. Thanks again, Mario. And thanks in advance for all your future heroics, too. Alright, let's see if we can find that yellow streamer. Oh my gosh, first you have to remove that ridiculous thing from your head. I cannot take you seriously. <sighs> this is my third time playing this game. And it still gives me chills right there. Bobby's backstory. And just him sacrificing himself to save Olivia. It's truly a moment in the game that they actually managed to make it really dark. And there have not really been much dark themes when it comes to newer Paper Mario, because, well, games just kind of started feeling baby-ish. Like, The series has been quite, just, not really too much interesting parts of the story. But that right there, it is truly a good scene. I feel like Nintendo... They did a good job at making you feel sad there. Like, it's honestly the most emotion that Mario has ever shown throughout the whole series of Paper Mario. Because I swear, he's just like a generic blank stare, sometimes shocked. Like, that right there. Seeing that all go down makes you think it's like that scene right there is so impactful it even made Mario sad. came down to your work and put on some overalls and wait, what do you even do? Ah, oh, you got me. You saved me. I was just pretending to work. Yay, Mario, my hero. Look, if I give you something, will you just go away? Gold hammer. You shall carry on without Bobby. But yeah, this legion's something interesting about partners. They're not always going to be around, like in the first three games. They will leave your side eventually. In Bobby's case, he passes. Alright, I feel like we're back on track now. Let's go back through the tunnel and get to the streamer. 
Sometimes a good cry is all you need, right? Huh? Do you feel that? Folds on the back of my neck just stood up, making a strong, bobby-like feeling. Ah, it's probably just my imagination, right? We only have our memories. That will be enough. We're doing this for you, Bobby. We checked the rocks where we found his spirit. What's wrong, Mario? Let's go.